logging, long a flashpoint for conservationists in the Pacific Northwest. But a new wood product may help the struggling industry and the environment. Very tall all wood buildings, so called ply scrapers, have popped up around the world and now in the U.S. We believe that uh, future down the road, two to five years out, that, that we could be seeing this uh, business grow from just 20% of our business to potentially 60% of our business. Cross laminated timber or CLT for short, essentially a wood sandwich. Two by fours stacked in perpendicular layers, then glued together and dried in a massive press. The resulting panels lighter and more eco-friendly than steel or concrete, and faster to assemble on site. Supporters say CLT could boost the timber industry by creating a new market for unwanted wood. Trees as small as five inches in diameter on top and those damaged by pests or wildfire can be used inside the sandwich without sacrificing its look or strength. But questions remain about the safety of tall buildings made with CLT. Currently, building codes limit most all wood ply scrapers. And demonstration projects need special consideration due to fire and seismic codes. The wood has to meet certain requirements in terms of how flammable it is, and those tests on CLT still have to be done. That's why engineers in Oregon are painstakingly testing CLT panels for a ply scraper in Portland. We'll move up and down, and then we'll go moving like this. Hydraulic rams exert hundreds of thousands of pounds of pressure simulating a devastating earthquake. You know, this is a connection that was taken out to about 350,000 pounds um, before we got the failure that you see here. Architect Thomas Robinson built his new offices with CLT and will build the Portland ply scraper scheduled to break ground this spring. We're looking at creating a resilient design, so a design that could actually um, withstand, you know, a, you know, a major earthquake. Yeah. Um, the earthquake that we all worry about and actually be repaired afterwards. The new wood product reshaping the skyline and possibly the timber industry as well. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press, Riddle, Oregon.